Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make thousands upon thousands of Robux using the trade system. It's trading your hats, your faces, and your gear. So pretty much what you want to do is of course you want to find a person. I like to start with kind of, not saying he's a noob, but kind of noob people. Yeah, he's a fucking noob. Let's just let's just say that. Okay, so just click and do his trade. A lot of times when you see kind of a newer player, they really won't have anything. I'll just say no items to display, no items to display. But this guy has an item I'm interested in. You got to pick an item that actually looks cool so you can trade it to someone else for better stuff. Um, what should I trade him? So what you want to do is you find an item kind of worth like a little bit, not too much, and you trade him multiple items for that item. So I'm going to be trading him this and this. For... It's a bad trade. Actually, no, it's fine. So you may be wondering, um, why am I trading nearly 700 Robux, or just 680 Robux, for a 525 Robux item. Okay, you see? Okay, let's let's take a look at whoops. Let's take a look at this item. Is this something you'd want to wear? Okay? Is this something that looks cool? You can no, you can't trade this. Like for too much at least. Right, where's my trade at? Is it here? No. Let me get out of here. It was here. Okay, so and the blue star face, eh, it's really not worth much at all. It doesn't really have any demand. You gotta focus on the demand. The desert air breather looks cool. Like, I'm probably gonna wear that once I get it. Or if I get it from I probably will, because I'm paying a lot for it. Um, also, one item, say this one item is worth 525 Robux, and these two items put together are 684. That is, like... Let me put it this way. The more items that you're trading for one item, the less this is worth, like in actuality. So, because four items that total to 30k are worth, like, how can, I, how can I put this? Four items that are worth 30k put together are nowhere near the actual worth of a single item that's 30k. You get what I'm saying? You don't? Yeah, you do. You know what I'm saying. So, you're just going to send that trade, really, and kind of wait for a response. I forget the thing from this guy. And if he's out of game, person's out of game, you could just follow them, kind of harass them a little bit. A good way to find people to trade is to just look for, look through a, like a pretty big group, just kind of like a war group usually does the trick, and just kind of pick out people that build this club. Uh, no one here. There's all the people with Builders Club. Okay, there's a couple more. Uh, try to pick like kind of newbier people because they usually don't really understand the worth. That might sound like you're scamming them, but if they accept a trade, that they're obviously happy with what they received, so they really don't know anyways. And see, there's a guy. Uh, should I blur out his name? Nah, just... Just trade this guy if you want. I'll tell him. I'll just tell him I sent you. All right. Oh, here's one. So, check here with Robux. You can also add Robux to make this seem worth a lot more. So the bat tie plus this is an awful hat, by the way. This really isn't anything good, but it's a lot better than this. So if you can land a trade like this, where there's just like a few like Robux difference then that's pretty lucky. Usually the trades like those don't get accepted, but it's always worth the try. You can always send multiple trades to the same person. And so just just gonna send that. And just to let you just to show you guys that I'm actually I practice what I preach. Okay, look what look out look what I have right here. So this is ten K, five K, it's like two K with these and these. Then you go to my gear, it's like 22k almost. Then you go to my faces and almost 50k. 
So I practice what I preach. Like I have like the stuff. And just to show you guys kind of an example of how this works. Um, see this trade I made actually, I think last year. Um, this was just 1.3K for 1K. Um, I got the Frominator, okay? I traded these two items. These two items are garbage. And I got this, all right? So what that Frominator helped me get was, so I traded, I'm um, secretly a vampire the hat and the Frominator worth 5K for this. At the Since I made this trade a long time ago, um, these were about the same. These were actually, these two items combined were a little bit more than this helmet. And this helmet actually went up to 10K um, so that was like a really good investment on my part. So I basically just made 10k off, or 5k off this one trade. So if you hold on to your items long enough, they can either like skyrocket in price, like this one did, or they could drop a lot, which usually doesn't happen. They usually don't drop like massively. So you should be safe. But with cool like cool looking items like this, where there isn't like too many of them, um, normally they'll just really just go up in price. So that's just an example of how my trading has benefited me, and hopefully you could make the same profits.